Hello everyone, today we'll be doing uh, the question from the MSC CMI data science question paper for the year 2018. Uh, we are solving questions from the part B of the question. In today's video, it will be a completely long video. In today's video, we'll be basically solving question number 8, 9 and 10. So this question number 8, 9 and 10 are basically part of the same question. So as you can see in the description, description for the following three questions. So the description that has been given is that suppose x is the number of successes out of n trials, where the trials are independent of each other. Now the probability of success of every trial is p. Then the probability that there will be exactly k successes out of n trials is given by probability of x equal to k where and that will be equal to n c k into p to the power k into 1 minus p whole to the power n minus k where k goes from 0 to n and the expected number of success in that case is denoted by e of x and that is equal to n p okay so let us start with the first question the first question is that question number eight the probability that an individual will default on his or her credit is 1000 then what is the probability that out of 200 debtors of the bank there will be at least one credit default in a year you can assume that whether a given debtor will default or not is independent of the behavior of the other debtors okay so this is what we need to find out that they will default so we have to find out the probability the probability that there is at least at least one default there is at least one default this is what we are supposed to find out now if there is one default so basically we can substitute this will be one minus probability that there is no default so out of the total number of pro, out of the total probability it is one if we subtract the probability that there is no default in that in that case we'll get the probability where there is at least one default so this is equal to the case probability where there is no default is p where x is equal to zero so as we have given over we have already a formula over here then this will be one minus here n n is basically equal to 200 so this will be 200 200 c 0 okay and here p is basically 1 by 100 so this will be 1 by 100 to the power 0 into 1 minus 1 by 100 to the power 200 minus 0 this is what we are looking for over here so this will be equal to 1 minus so 200 c 0 200 c 0 this is basically equal to now we can consider this as or we can definitely say that this will be equal to 1 minus 1 by 100 to the power 200 okay so this is what we are looking for so this will be equal to 1 minus 99 by 100 to the power 200 so this is the probability of having at least one default so this is what we are looking for over here. Now we'll move forward to the next part of the problem, which will be question number nine. So in this part, in the question number nine, we need to find out that the for the situation in the previous problem, what is the expected number of defaults? So as we know that the expected number of defaults is given by E of X is equal to NP. So here N is equal to 200 number of trials and P is one by 100. So the expected number of defaults is, you can expect two defaults from the 200 debtors. So this is the answer to the question number nine. Now we'll move forward to the next question, which will be question number 10. Okay, so in question number 10, it has been said that suppose the bank earns 10% of the loan amount for every loan that is repaid. In that case, if the person defaults on his or her credit, then the bank loses the entire loan amount. Then what is the expected revenue of the bank from a loan of one lakh so for solving this question we can generate a matrix which will be very useful in solving this question so what we'll try to do we'll create a two by two matrix 
so therefore here basically we will write um, there will be two cases over here there will be two cases the first case will be repaid loan what happens if the loan is repaid and the second condition would be if there is a default okay and this will be the probability probability and this will be the revenue associated with that case okay so as has been said that there is a probability of default of 1 by 100 so therefore the probability that the loan will be repaid is basically 1 minus 1 by 100 and this is equal to 99 by 100 now if a loan is repaid and the bank earns 10 percent of the revenue if the loan is repaid and the bank earns 10 percent of the 10 percent of the amount so that will be 10 percent of this very amount 1 lakh so this will be equal to 10,000 okay and if there is a default then the bank does not get any loan and there is a loss of one lakh rupees okay there is a loss of one lakh rupees so that is the fault so in that case our expected revenue will be equal to probability of repaying loan so that will be equal to uh, let me add a probability of loan being repaid into into revenue of loan being repaid plus probability of default into revenue of default this is the formula that we'll be using so probability of repaying loan is 99 by 100 and the revenue that is earned is 10,000 plus probability of defaulting loan is 1 by 100 and the revenue of defaulting is minus 1 lakh okay so when we do the calculation regarding the same so this will be 0, 0 will cancel out so we are left with 19900 and over here these two zeros will cancel out and you are left with minus 1000 so this will be expected revenue in this case will be 8900 so this is the expected revenue of a bank from a loan of 1 lakh rupees so this is how you solve this question so i'll suggest that you create this matrix and it is very easy this can be uh, possible for n different cases there is no issue in this uh, so this is the formula that we'll be using this formula if you remember then you are done with the problem if you have any doubt regarding the process that i have adopted in solving all of these three questions from this particular set of uh, question then you can comment in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you and help you out thank you very much